one. So what I just decided, you know what? I need to go home. Home is home. Home is home. Yes. And I, when I was coming here, like I said, I came with a loan. Because I couldn't even have money to come to Africa myself. How do we build Ghana? We need patriotic people. People who love the country. Who they love the country. No one loves the country at this very moment. Not no. even you. No. I'm sorry. No one loves the country at this very moment. It's one, It's like each one for himself. God, God for, for us all. all. I can... I love um, our excellency recently we were all complaining about Galamse yeah. and then as a man of the land to address Galamse you end your conversation by saying if we do this right that's why we're going to break the eight I used to watch it and I was so disappointed like because I, I, I love the fact that he called people to come together, together. to fight Galamse because Galamse is destroying all our water but bodies right he, he but started in, in good but he ended, ended by saying that when we do this, we'll break the eight. So it's like in this country, it's more like each politics. one for himself, God for us all. Because it's politics that runs the country. It shouldn't be. Politics is not building the country. It shouldn't be. It's actually destroying our country. It's actually going backwards. Ghana has a great name out there. But when sure. you are in Ghana, you realize that there is nothing. The only thing we have to boast of in Ghana is just peace. I'm not saying peace is underrated or whatever but listen we need to build Ghana we need to make Ghana a place where a, a young man out there will be able to wake up and say I'm investing five cities in Ghana and it will grow we need Ghana that you don't need to go and talk to a politician before he breaks he gives you the breakthrough we need Ghana that you, you can wake up the following day and you feel like oh this is my country and I'm not going anywhere. Anywhere. No, everyone want to leave. But, but you know, one thing that is happening, uh, the outside is being cooked to be attractive, yeah. juicy. Yeah. And the youth are running out. Yeah. But the foreigners are coming, are coming in here. Yeah. Why? The system. The system. The system. Is it that the government is making it more flexible for other? Yeah, of course. You didn't know the foreigners, you didn't know the investors oh, to feel more comfortable exactly. at home. When we kill our own business and we give the opportunity for outsiders to build their own business in, here. in Ghana, or in Africa in general, everything is money. Who has a mom, who has more money? And time um, they lay all the red carpet for you to invest your business. So that's why the foreigners even more have advantage over who are the people doing the galamse chinese thank you they come they meet someone on the ground they pay you the yeah your bought and then they go and do the galamse now they are changing the system of coming into ghana now they are marrying our women having children with them they groom them send them back to china and they come back they help them grow enter into politics and they can make good decisions for what china so i'm just saying that it's everything is not about money we should help ourselves build our nation together we should help ourselves be that nation together of course if if the government makes the country good for me i will invest in ghana, in ghana. and when i invest in ghana i employ Ghanaians, and Ghanaians work together and we build this country no one will build our country for us. No, nobody. No, see, no foreigner will build a country for you. They come Get and that. make the money Get and they, they take it away. Thank you. Who, who will invest, make profit and put the money here? No. I'm why am I here? I take the profit and take it to my country. You understand? I, we just need to find a way to save African businesses. And our leaders, they don't have those ideas. It's just money. How much am I going to get from that business? That's it. If I'm not getting anything, I'm not supporting you. That's how business is running in, 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 in Ghana. Man. How many countries have you been in Africa so far? Uh, 25 countries in Africa. 25? Yeah. So you have about roughly yeah. 25 plus. 29 uh, more to uh, go. 29 more yeah, to go. Yeah, 29, 30. Yeah. So out of all these countries that you've been so far, what have you learned from it? I've learned that Africa is the same everywhere. Okay. Um, Africa is home for Africans. So if you're in Ghana and the business in Ghana is not working for you, you can go to Nigeria to invest your business. It feels home for every African, right? Um, secondly, I feel like 
some countries can learn from others. See, I mean, yeah, Ghana is not that high up there, but I believe that some countries can learn from Ghana. Um, Ghana can learn from other countries so that we'll be able to bring whatever in those countries into our countries. I mean, I've been to Namibia and they got the best roads in Africa. You never see on tarred road in Namibia. Even road in the villages are tarred. The only time you see on even in the villages, even in the villages are tarred. The time that you see first class road. Yes, the time that you see on tarred road, maybe you're going to a national park which they need to have on tarred road. Okay, and that one is even smooth. Smooth. They got the best road in Africa. And I believe that Ghana can learn from them. If you go to Namibia, they have the, uh, what do you call it? Rwanda, they got the cleanest um, city. city. It's not even the cleanest city. The cleanest country in, in, in Africa. Africa. The whole country is super clean. And I think uh, we can learn from them. So I believe African countries can learn from, from each, each other. other. It's just that sometimes when I talk, people will be like, ah, this guy is too known. But it's not like I'm too long. It's because of where I've been to, what I've seen, uh, and that's what I talk about. Let me confess here. Yeah. When I started watching your video, yeah. and the way life pressure is hitting me here and there, I was having a vision to also travel outside. <laughs> I, I'm going to say this on, on, on record <laughs> that I try American Visa Lottery more than eight times. So you can just imagine like eight years now. And... Um, but it got to a point where I started watching your video and you started revealing African countries, yeah. what they are capable of, how opportunities are there, how peaceful, united yeah. mm. they could be. Mm. Now it has changed my mindset. I don't I feel just, like traveling to no. outside Africa again. No. When I was going to Ivory Coast, I've been to Ivory Coast before, I spent like one week there. Mm. I was scared. I couldn't go out to mingle. I only went in for the conference that I was uh, <laughs> sent to go. I finished the conference and I was That's quick it. to come home. By then, I was not watching your video. But when I started watching now, I wish to go back to Ivory Coast. You, you are doing a great job. Yeah, thank you. Revealing to us that I can go to Nigeria. Thank you. And do whatever business I have there, mingle with the people, exactly. eat with the people, even your marriage. Yeah, I shed tears because you have demonstrated. Is not you are not the first to yeah uh, from Ghana yeah. to go and marry another African country, yeah. but it's like you have shown the true symbol of what unity. If somebody is moving from Ghana and is going to marry in Nigeria, yeah. hey, you are going to marry evil people. Yeah. Hey, these ah. people, <laughs> no, no, they are like this, they are like this, Ivorians are like this, uh, Ivory Coast is like this. Look, our parents pump those kind of fear into us. Why? Because they, we gave the narration to other people to narrate for us that Thank you. this is how we are. And that's why we are telling our own stories. I'm just telling you, if you are in here and you want to start a new business, this is the best channel for you to subscribe to. I mean, be part of this awesome family. Learn new things. Because I, I think we cannot do the job alone. We cannot do it alone. We need more people to come on board to start telling the African story. So that we can change a lot of mindset. Because I'm telling you, see, everything is in Africa. Everything is you in Africa. You can make it in Africa. You just need the right mentorship. And if this government that we have uh, at the end of the day will understand that this country belongs to us and it's only us who will build our countries and they'll make the system well so that people can stay in this country and build this country. Believe me, Ghana or Africa in general will be the heaven for so many people to come and see. We shouldn't allow people to come and destroy what we have. But we should use what we have, have. to develop our, our country. country.